Every time the church gives us this particular gospel reading, I think of the song from the 60s, United We Stand, Divided We Fall. If we ever have our backs against the wall, and it goes on and on. But I think more than ever, and I don't know whether it's just because I'm getting a little bit older and I see it more, or it's the reality of the world in which we live, the church in which we worship, the communities where we serve. There's too much division, too much. The wisdom and the grace of Jesus says, a house divided against itself will fall. I fear that, but I don't fear it as, an, as a, a done deed. I just fear that we're not waking up as a religion, as a citizenry of a democracy. I just feel the apathy or the indifference that is there is going to lead us into ruin as a people of faith and as a people of a nation. So what do we do about that? We have to pray, and we have to pray for grace to live our lives in such a way that we work against divisions, that we support one another, that we find common ground, still holding to our truth. And the truth that we hold to is the truth of Jesus Christ. It's the gospel of the Lord. With that, then we can stand tall and we can stand strong. But it is something that I believe we must do now, tomorrow, and the next day. And for us to remember maybe the refrain of that song, united we stand and divided we fall. With God's grace, the people that he's called together can continue to grow together and to be his presence in the world. Amen.